Hi guys, today I'm going to be looking at some of the advice given by Temple Grandin for parents of children with autism. So who is Temple Grandin and why should we value her opinions? Temple Grandin is an American academic and animal behaviorist. She is an inventor and a scientist. She is autistic. She received speech therapy from a very early age, from about two and a half years of age. She had a nanny who was hired when she was about three years old to play educational games with her. These games were played for many hours in the day. And so during her early years, she had the benefit of lots of speech therapy, as well as educational and social interaction, albeit with one or two people. She attended primary school um, and then went to high school, but she describes high school as unpleasant, a place where she was continually mocked and they, then later on she was expelled for throwing a book at someone who had taunted her. She was later accepted into another more supportive high school and um, in her teens she was declared to be an autistic savant. She went on to obtain various university degrees, one of which was a master's in animal science. Grandin advocates actively for the human uh, humane treatment of livestock. She is the author of various books, including the book titled Thinking in Pictures, which is about her experience of autism. She has written more than 60 scientific papers on animal livestock, including ways to treat animals humanely. Grandin is a consultant to the livestock industry, but she is also an autism spokesperson and she has been an outspoken proponent of autism rights and neurodiversity movements. She is one of the first people to explain, to document, and also to share in detail with the public her experiences as an autistic person. She has provided, in the words of Bernard Rimland, who is the father of an, an autistic child, an insight into autism that very few people have been able to achieve. Her life story and experiences have also been made recently uh, into a documentary and the documentary is titled Temple Grandin. So as a person who has lived with autism, here are some of Grandin's key areas of advice um, that she has shared for parents and I'm now quoting her directly. When you have got a child that is not talking, the worst thing you can do is nothing. What you need to do is to get some grandmothers, some students, someone to work with this child because nothing is the, is the worst thing that you could do. Teach them how to play board games, taking turns, teach them words, take them out on nature walks, just interact with them. Uh, close quotes. So the take home from this for parents is that doing nothing with an autistic child is the worst thing that you could do, especially in the early years, especially if they are nonverbal or have limited verbal abilities. Um, this is the phase where learning and interaction is crucial. So she also says, and I quote her further, it's hard to control emotions, but you can switch emotions. Autistic children have got to learn to be polite, shaking hands, not interrupting, not telling people off. And the take home that we as parents get from this is that what worked for her as an autistic person was to learn the social norms, to accept them and to adjust to those social uh, norms and to follow the rules of normal social interaction. Now, there's been a lot of negative response to this type of approach lately with many advocating that autistics must be free to be who they are. Um, and um, I don't dispute this at all. But this is the advice that Grandin gave based on years of experience, and she is now in her 70s. Of course, things may change um, in time to come. But for now, this is the reality that autistic kids need to deal with, that... Um, Kids who do not adjust in various ways to the existing social norms and behaviors of communities are going to find life quite difficult.
So Grandin also stresses how important it is to help a child with autism to develop their strengths and their talents. And this means helping them to find things that they are interested in and can learn to do, building useful skills that could later become jobs or careers. In other words, skills that have the potential to turn into a job or career. She is an important advocate for all types of vocational training and Grandin does mention various kinds of skills uh, as being um, potentially useful. For example, uh, art, music, writing, and then she goes on to write up to all the practical stuff like cleaning swimming pools or walking dogs, all the kinds of useful skills that may later become jobs, whether in or outside of the home. Her message here for us as children, uh, as parents of children with autism is, there, is that there is something for each of us to do and autistics should be supported to find their thing to do. Some of the information and the quotes in this video have been referenced from Wikipedia and an online article that is titled Grand, uh, Temple Grandin's Need to Know Advice to Autistic Children. Thank you for listening and I wish you well. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more practical and useful information on raising a child with autism. Take care.